<laughs> of the old Chinese man, but very Pakistan. <laughs> Is there something in your eye? Kind of. <laughs> Thank you. Dive in the heart. Okay. I'm here with my good friend Hoghart. Hoghart Malan. Hoghart, tell us about yourself as a photographer. Um, I take amazing photos, but I don't like people. And that's about it. Tell me your story. So you don't like wildlife? Uh-uh. No portraits? Uh-uh. Weddings? Hell no. <laughs> How, what is your connection? Where did it start with Namibia? Where did your love for Namibia start? It's difficult to say. Uh, we did a couple of holidays here um, when I was still at school. And we would always, my dad loved fishing, so we would go to Andes Bay, but we would always do like a 10 day trip traveling from place to place, and it was always through the south. And I think I developed a love for landscapes there, for Namibian landscapes. And then, strangely enough, there was a book that I bought when I think I was about 15 or 16, um, called, I think just Namibia, but it's by a South African photographer called John Duplessis. And he shot a lot of images on a 6x17 panoramic film camera. And I think that he did a lot of trips during 2006 and 2008 when it rained so much and he got some incredible photos, particularly of the Nama brand. I think he spent a lot of time on Kanan on the D707 and he just has these couple of phenomenal shots. It's like rainstorm, rainbow, green grass, red dunes, perfect tree. Uh, and that, that, like, I remember when I wanted to come to Namibia for the first time to come and shoot, I wanted to go to the Nama brand. That was my obsession. Yeah. So would you say the Nama brand is your favorite landscape in Namibia? The Nama brand, I think uh, you will also know, that you kind of have a love-hate relationship with it because if it's the rainy season, it is one of the most photogenic places in the world. If it's a good rainy season, then there's green grass and there's dramatic skies. But if you don't have any of that, if you have blue skies and it's a bad rain year, so most landscapes only have a seasonal variation to them. Like you go either in summer or winter or autumn or spring. But the Namibian desert has this year to year variation with rain cycles where you can go for three years in a row any time of the year and you're not going to get the shot because those are not exceptional rain years. And you need to go in that exceptional rain year. And the Nama brand, as I said, is amazing in one of those years. And then it just flips completely. And in a dry year, I don't want to say it's an ugly place because it's not an ugly place. But it is 10 times less photogenic than it is in a green year. So it's a weird place because it can be amazing, but it can also be completely uninteresting photograph from a landscape photography perspective in some years. So if you had to travel to Namibia, you only have one week. You've got nothing holding you back. There's no restrictions. What would you say, where would you spend a week or which one or two places would be your, your go-to? I think where I would want to go and advice that I would give to new people are very, very, very different. Where would you like to go? Um, I would love to go back to Sarah Kafema. I visited there it's now eight years ago, eight years ago, and it was just an absolutely spectacular place. Um, it's like the Nama brand, but it is split in the middle by this gigantic river, the Kuneni, yes. which just adds a completely different element and it's something that you don't see here because there aren't really rivers and if they are there, they're ephemeral. Um, Sarah Kofema. Yeah, so I would say Sarah Kofema. Alright. Um, I don't have any more questions. Okay. Tell us where you are now. I am... Simon, where are we? <laughs> Simon refuses to come on camera, but uh, he... <laughs> 
he is the the wizard that guides us through this uh, inhospitable wilderness. We do not know the name of this bay. He definitely does, but he refuses to. Uh, What's the name of the bay, Simon? Afklimbai. Afklimbai. Afklimbai, which Just means to get off, to get out. Yes. Um, okay, so <laughs> you're at, at Afklimbai. Um, Afklimbai, which I think is more or less straight west from Sources Flay to the coastline. Because we've come from the south and we saw absolutely nothing and no one and this afternoon we saw small planes heading for the coast and we know if you're on the northern part of this coast north of Sources Flay you see these regular flights going in and out as the people After that fly the... into Sources Flay. And nothing needs to be said, look at that. It's like a 20 kilometer long dune and we've got this beautiful round bay in front of us. Um, <laughs> and after a 10 hour day of driving, what else can you ask for? That's it. That's well, it. Thank you, Ogard, for coming on to my show. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Ogard and Yandra in the morning, <laughs> except it's evening. <laughs> thank okay. you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in Namibia. And stay tuned for more photographic talks with Yandra.